it's Ellen here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play But Daddy I Love Him off of Taylor's Tortured Poets Department album. So here's a quick overview of everything I'll be covering in this tutorial today and with that being said let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys so you only need to know four different chord shapes to play through this song and we're going to start with our D major which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my free beginner series right here on YouTube, so make sure to check that out right here. The next chord is our B minor. But don't worry if you don't know how to play bar chords or you struggle with them, I will teach you a second option that you can do without barring. Um, the next chord is our G major. last chord shape is our A major. And those are the only four chords you need to play through this song. Um, but like I said, if you struggle with your barred B minor shape, you can actually just instead play a B minor 7, which looks like this and sounds like this. sounds a little bit different, but if you want to replace your B minors with your B minor 7, it'll definitely work for this song. Um, but yeah, those are the chords you need to know to play through the song. So go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to really memorize these chord shapes as well as practice transitioning back and forth between them because it'll make learning the rest of the song so much easier for you. And if this is a skill you're currently struggling with, I would recommend checking out my Practice With Me series right here on YouTube where we go through the skill in real time together. So I'll make sure to link that in the corner for those of you who need it. But once you have these chords under your belt, then we can go ahead and talk about the strumming that I would recommend for this song. All right guys, so as I always say, if you are brand new to playing guitar or you're somebody who struggles with playing guitar while singing at the same time, the first thing I would suggest you do is to bring up the song and go ahead and play through the entire thing with a single down strum as you sing through the song. And just take this time to really get used to what word or what syllable you're on whenever those chords are changing. So here's a quick example of what that would look like. I forget how the West was won. I forget if this was ever fun. I just learned these people only raise you to cage you. All right, so that's just a quick example, but you would essentially want to do that for the entire song and just really make sure you know where those chords are going to be changing. And it's actually something you do right now if you check out my Patreon page. I do have this entire guide available to download and print out, so I'll make sure to leave that link in the description box for you. But once you have that under your belt, then we can go ahead and add to this to make more of a full strumming pattern that I could recommend for the song. All right, guys, so as you can see today, we're going to be in a 16th note strumming rhythm. So if you don't know what that means or how to count that, I would recommend checking out my beginner series because I do cover that over there. Um, but basically it's going to sound like this. We have a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1, 2, a E and 4 and a down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, down, down. All right. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to apply this pattern one time through for almost the entire song, so per chord. So let's go ahead and take a look at that first verse. We're starting on our B minor. You're going to go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, just one time. Then our next chord is G. So basically for most of this song, you just want to use this pattern one time per chord throughout. However, there are going to be a few places where we want to change chords kind of in the middle of this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and add a vertical line here. And what this is going to represent is where I want you to change chords for those measures where that needs to happen. So a good example of where we'll see this kind of broken up rhythm is going to be in the chorus. You can see here we're starting on our D chord. That's going to get a full measure. Down, down. No, I'm not, but you should see your faces. We're going to go from G to our A in the middle of the measure. So what I want you to do is on the left half, we're going to play our first chord, which is G. So we have down, down, then switch chords quickly to your A and finish out the measure. Up, up, down, down, down. All right. Now I'm Another 
example of where you'll see this kind of split rhythm is going to be in the bridge. So in the second half of the bridge, we can see here we're going for our G chord. You ain't gotta pray for me. to A, again, we're doing this split. Me and my wild boy, all of his wild joy. All right, so B minor, we have down, down to A and finish it out. Up, up, down, down, down. All right. So this strumming rhythm is kind of a little bit difficult to get under your belt for muscle memory, especially the newer you are to playing guitar. So definitely pause the video and take as much time as you need to really understand how to count this rhythm and get it to the point where you're, you know, letting your muscle memory take over. So if this strumming rhythm is one that you're currently struggling with, I do have a practice with me video where we go through this exact rhythm and we kind of speed it up together. So I'll make sure to link that in the corner if you need it. But once you have the strumming pattern more internalized, we can speed it it up just a bit and then we can apply it for almost the whole song. So starting here on the verse in our B minor, down, down, up, up, down, 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 of G, to D, to A. I forget how the West was won, I forget if this is ever fun, I just Moving on to the pre-chorus, same thing here, starting with B minor. one time through each chord. Now we're getting to the chorus, and this is where we're going to incorporate some of those split measures. Now I'm with my dress and bonnet, screaming but daddy I love him. I'm having his baby. No, I'm not, but you should see your faces. All right. And then all of the verses are kind of going to be the same. Same with the pre-choruses and the choruses. Now something to talk about is the bridge. This is the section that I would recommend doing a different strumming pattern with. So let's go ahead and talk really quickly about strumming pattern two. All right guys, so for this second strumming pattern, if you're familiar with any of my other tutorials or any Taylor Swift songs, you'll definitely recognize it, but it's just all down strums. We're going to count it with an eighth note count like this. One and two and three and four and one and two Super simple. Taylor uses this a lot when she's on stage, and I think a great place to put this strumming pattern is gonna be in the bridge section, okay? So again, we have our B minor chord. You're just gonna do this pattern one time through per chord. So we have B minor, one and two and three and four and to G, one and two and three and four and to A, three and four and twice for A. Something you might hear me doing is I am adding some accents to some of these arrows. So what I'm doing there is I'm just giving them a little extra emphasis. So I'll go ahead and turn those arrows green. Um, this is totally optional, but if you want to, it does kind of help drive the rhythm of the song forward. So what I'm doing there is for the green arrows, I'm strumming all the strings. But for the regular purple arrows, I'm concentrating more on just some of the bass strings. All right, so we have one and two. So totally optional to put that in there, but I would recommend it if you can. So again, that bridge, we've got B minor to G to A twice. Say the most judgmental so say they want what's best for me. Sanctimoniously performing soliloquies I'll never see. All right, so that's a little bit low for me there, but basically if you want to change up your strumming rhythm, the bridge is a great place to put this all down strum pattern. The other place I like to use it in my cover is right at the beginning of the intro. We're starting on our D chord, and if you want to make it kind of closer to the original song, I would just do a single down strum for the first measure, and then lead into it with this second strumming pattern, one and two and three and four and. Then when you start singing and you get into that B minor chord, go to the full pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, down, down. All right, so the whole intro would sound like this. Um, but 
basically this whole second strumming pattern with all the down strums is totally optional but I do think if you can change the bridge to this pattern it does kind of break up the song a little bit and it helps the listener just kind of keep interest throughout the song because this one is pretty long um, but yeah totally optional if you want to add that in there or not. All right guys, so again, go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to get these strumming rhythms under your belt. Like I said, the all down strum one is totally optional, but I do like to add that in my cover, so I just wanted to make sure to show it to you guys. Plus it's a Taylor Swift classic, so if you can get it down, it's something you can apply to all the different songs. Um, like I said, if strumming and getting this under your belt for muscle memory is something you're struggling with, I would recommend checking out my Practice With Me strumming series, because we go over this exact pattern over there. Um, but once you have the strumming and the chords and the transitions and everything ready to go, we can put all of that together to play through the song. One, two, ready, go. to the rest of the song with me? Yeah, yeah. Then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other Swifty sing-along guitar tutorials. I've covered so many of her songs from all of her eras, so if you are a Swifty who loves to play her songs on the guitar, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I will link it in the description box down below. If you enjoyed learning this song with me, then you should definitely check out this video. Not only does it have a super similar vibe and feel, but it's just as fun and easy to play.